what you see right in front of me here is a Lego model of the hybrid Synergy drive system. That is the hybrid system that is inside of most of the hybrid cars in the world, including the hybrid car that I have that I presented in a different video. I have a whole separate video where I go through this model and how it actually reflects what you see inside of the car. For this video, I just want to show you the difference of the two drive modes. That is, a hybrid car has normal drive modes where you can drive around, that is recommended. However, it also has drive mode B. B is for engine braking. You only use that drive mode if you're driving down really, really long hills in order to not overheat your friction brakes. That is, the brakes that are located inside of your wheels. So in this video, I'll first take you for a ride in my car where you can see what actually happens between the two drive modes. That should be sufficient for you to learn that you should never use a B for ordinary driving. However, then I'll get back to this model right here and actually show you in action what happens inside of the engine so inside of the hybrid system drive let's start out by heading out to the car and i just realized before we're heading into the car it's a good idea to say what the gauges that you're going to see are actually showing you so on the right hand side we have the hybrid system monitor with arrows it shows you if the battery is used to power the car if the engine is used to power the car a combination of both of them are used to drive the car or if we are using the generators in order to charge the battery left of the speedometer we can see which drive mode we are in so either b for engine braking or d for driving on the left hand side is a very special gauge it is either blue or red when it is blue you can see how efficiently we are driving what is important here is when it gets down into the charge area, the further down it is, the more we are charging the batteries. When this gauge turns to red, it is a simple rev counter. So you can see when the engine is off and when it is spinning. And when it is off, you should also see the little EV icon on the left hand side. Let's take a look at what happens in the different drive modes. So. The road is now going downhill. I let go of the speeder in D, and you can see I'm charging a bit. If I go to B, it charges more, but it also runs the engine. Let's accelerate a bit again. And then you can see I'm letting go of the accelerator, and the engine runs fairly quickly in order to brake. If I go to D mode, you can see the engine should be turning off and I have to use the brake pedal in order to get down on speed. Now I'm just coasting downhill in D and the engine is not running. I turn on B and you can see we get more brake force, but we do so by having engine braking going on. And we are back inside. Now I want to show you what happens with the two drive modes in this LEGO model. But first let's have a recap of what is actually happening inside of this hybrid system drive. Because I show you everything in detail in the full video, but let's just have a short recap. Here we have the piston engine with the four cylinders, flywheel, a simplified clutch that is not really a clutch, the two electric motors. MG1 and MG2. Both motors can run as electric motors that give power. And in the real car they also work as generators so they can give power back to the battery. In the middle we have the power split device. It's really consisting of two planetary gear sets. So two of these. On one side with MG2 we are having the planetary carriers are fixed, MG2 is running the sun gear, and that way we have a good gear reduction to the ring gear. And that is really everything that is happening on this side. So when I'm running MG2, you will always see the wheels are running. 
because the power split device here is going directly to the wheels. On the other side is where it's a bit more complicated. You have MG1 running again the Sun Gear. The planetary carrier is connected to the piston engine and the ring gear is connected to the ring gear of the other planetary gear set. Which means that we can run the two different kind of drive modes with this simple setup. So let's take a look first what happens when we are engine braking. So in drive mode B, we are running MG2 of course because we are going somewhere. And MG1 might not even do anything, it can stand still. And when we get at speeds below 30, you can see that it powers up in order to make sure that the piston engine is not running when we are going very slowly. So you see... We might be in that situation that I just showed right there. As for the normal drive modes, MG2 is running as always, and then MG1 is counteracting the movement by running the other way in order to make sure that the piston engine is not running. So we see something like this. And that is really it. So it's the balance between the two motor generators that ensure that either we can have the piston engine running or it can be standing still. And since any kind of movement of the piston engine means that now you're using either gas in order to run it or you're wasting energy because you're pulling the piston engine around, you really want to minimize the piston engine ever moving. And that is why you should stay out of drive mode B. I hope that became very clear for you because that was the purpose of this video. In any case, if you haven't seen the video where I'm showing the complete breakdown and all the details of this model, then I recommend doing that. Otherwise, have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, another thing. Cruise control doesn't work in B mode, so another reason not to use it.